Hello, differential equation students. Today we're talking about Euler's formula. We'll prove this in class. This is this crazy formula that e to the i t is equal to cosine t plus i sine t. And yes, that i is the square root of negative 1. It's an imaginary number. So let's play around with this a little bit and just make sure that we can rewrite expressions using this. So for example, I'm going to do something very straightforward here. I'm going to say, what the heck is e to the i pi? Oh, that's weird. Okay. So according to this formula, that's going to be cosine of pi plus i times the sine of pi. Well, cosine of pi is negative 1, and sine of pi is 0. So we just get negative 1 plus 0, negative 1. Is that freaky? E, some strange number, i, an imaginary number, pi, all those together, you combine them, you get negative 1. Very strange. Now, for our purposes, what we're often going to be seeing are expressions like this where we've got t in there, because we're going to be using the solutions to the characteristic equation, just like we did um, with constant coefficient differential equations, to find solutions. So, for example, you're likely to see stuff like this, e to the 2i t. Well, in this case, the t has been replaced with 2t, so what we're going to have is cosine 2t plus i times the sine of 2t. So pretty straightforward. We're just plugging in. Let's do something a little bit more complicated. Let's do e to the power of 3 plus 5i-t. All right, we want to do a little bit of rewriting here. We'd like to rewrite this as e to the 3t plus 5i t. And then once we've done that, we want to rewrite this as e to the 3t times e to the 5i t. Now when we do this, we're not going to do anything with the e to the 3t. We're going to leave that out in front. But we are going to rewrite what we have here. So that's going to be cosine of 5t plus i times the sine. Of 5t. So if we want to think about that, if you want, we can distribute here. We're going to have e to the 3t cosine of 5t plus i e to the 3t times the sine of 5t. And I'll just let you in on what's going to be happening in class. We're going to be thinking of our solutions as being this function and that function. So in other words, when we rewrite something like this, we should be able to, after a manipulation like this, turn this into two solutions to a differential equation. But for right now, the important thing is that you know Euler's formula, and you can carry out manipulations like this, where you rewrite expressions of e to the i something in terms of cosines and sines.